In this video, we'll be integrating x over the square root of x squared minus 6x plus 8 using trick substitution. First, we're going to rewrite x squared minus 6x plus 8 as x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 1. And now we can factor out the x squared minus 6x plus 9 as x minus 3 quantity squared. Now let's do a u substitution. We'll let u equal x minus 3. So du is dx. And if I add 3 to both sides, I get u plus 3 is equal to x. And so that's going to go in the numerator of the fraction. Then we have the square root of u squared minus 1, and then du. Now at this step, we can do a trick substitution. We'll let u equal secant of s. And so du is secant of s times tangent of s ds. Plug that in. Now notice that 1 plus tangent squared is equal to secant squared. So if I subtract both sides by 1, I get the tangent squared is equal to secant squared minus 1. So this right here is going to get replaced by tangent squared. And now the square root of tangent squared is just tangent, and then that's going to cancel out with this tangent. So this secant plus 3 is going to distribute with the secant. So that's secant squared plus 3 secant s ds. And now I can break this up into two separate integrals. The antiderivative of secant squared is tangent of s. And then the antiderivative of secant of s is ln secant of s plus tangent of s. But notice that we did two different substitutions. First we went to u substitution, and then we did trig substitution. So we're going to replace s with the um, appropriate u. So if we go back, we had let u equal secant of s. So you want to treat s as the angle. So this is uh, u equals 1 over cosine of s, and secant is 1 over cosine. So that means cosine of s is equal to 1 over u. And so that's just adjacent over hypotenuse. Pythagorean theorem says this is the square root of u squared minus 1. And so tangent of s is just opposite over adjacent. That's going to be the square root of u squared minus 1. Secant of s is hypotenuse over adjacent. That's u. And so now we have an expression that only depends on u. Now we want to go back to x. And so in the beginning, we had let u equal x minus 3. And so this is our final answer.